You know, a few days ago, we lost a legendary actor, Lou Gossett Jr. He loved coming to New Orleans, so we looked back at our archives and found a story that reporter Bill Capo did with him after Hurricane Katrina. Now we go back even further in our archives and bring you a clip from an interview medical reporter Meg Ferris did with him back in 1994. He had concerns of the high rates of strokes in the black community and wanted to talk about lifestyle changes to lower the causes of strokes like diabetes and high blood pressure. It's important to get that signal out. It's a red light signal to African Americans to, to, to consult the doctor, to change certain habits. And there's a therapy involved and the certain habits the therapy is good. It's good to feel that way. It's good to live that way anyway. And can you tell people that, that uh, changing the food with lower fat does taste good? It sure does. It does. Yeah, We're, I'm going gonna, gonna to do a cooking, a uh, couple of uh, recipes on a new cooking channel. Uh-huh. Well, good luck to you. Starting. We'll be Thanks. watching. Thank you I'll both. I'll see you at Dookie Chases. Okay, I hope so. And Gase was two months away from his 88th birthday.